Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Kristen and if you can't tell, I'm in my classroom today. This is the first time, sorry I'm a little shaky, I just ran into the car. Um, but this is the first time I'm in my room. I'm actually working in it. I have seen it before, but this is the first time I'm actually in it. And I'll show you the only thing I've done, but I kind of just brought everything in right now. I'm taking it slow. Um, just had a lot of rough summer. Um, with family stuff and everything and trying to buy a house and everything but finally in my classroom and I will show you what it looks like and what I've done so far. Alright so you walk in through that blue door right there and the only thing I did right now was I rearranged the desks so I like to have them work in groups so I have my group set up and then I have pairs of twos. The only reason I have them tilted is because so this is the back of the room which is really nice. I also want to use this whiteboard. So that's why I have the desk facing left and right so that they can see this back whiteboard. But then I have a wall of windows, which I'm so thankful for because my last classroom did not have a wall of windows. I've had no windows at all, actually. Um, but there's where you walk in. I have a lot of storage, ton of storage. Um, super excited about that. And I have another bulletin board, another bulletin board. This is what I brought in, just kind of my bins from last year, um, and that's about it. But this is the front of the room. So I have a bulletin board, whiteboard space, smart board, and then bulletin board. So this is a fr the front of the room because of the smart board. Um, but if you notice, it's very off center. So I wanted these people, these students over here, to not be facing my desk or to be facing this part when theoretically this is where I will be teaching most of the time. Um, so I also, you know, this is where it's at right now. I don't know how the glare will be with the whiteboard or with the smart board um, with the lights, but we'll be sure to test that out. So that's all I kind of did so far was just rearrange the desks. They were just in basic rows, but I like working in groups and I still have plenty of room to move between all the groups and that's about it so far. Another thing I don't know if I need is I have these two extra tables back here for whether I want to make it like a student station or something like that. But I also have counter space here. And then I also have this little desk up here, but I might turn this sideways and use it for plants or something by the window. I think that would be really cute um, because I don't think I plan on ever using that as a desk. Um, and then the other thing is I have my you know, drawers here that I would make copies for or Monday through Wednesday, Monday through Friday copies or anything like that. But I have a ton of file folders and a ton of space. So all six, all six of these are all file folders. Um, so that's really nice. So I don't necessarily know if I need to put all my copies in there. Another thing is I also have a filing cabinet that also has filing folders and different things in it. The teacher left some borders, which I appreciate so much. Um, so there's just a lot of storage that I don't know exactly what I'm going to be using this stuff for because I did not have any storage in my other classrooms. So I kind of like even my desk didn't have any storage. So this became like desk drawers that I had in my desk, like all my um, different things like that. But I even have these. So these I will probably use. These are a lot more stable and more rolly than the ones on my desk. The ones on my desk are very loud and, and old. So I'll probably be using those. So I might still use one of these as desk drawer stuff. Um, if it doesn't fit in this area, um, just because I don't want to really plan on using those, um, it'll kind of be a distraction, I think. I also have a desktop, which I'm going to move to my desk. I will mainly be using my computer, probably. I also realize there is a document camera. I wonder if I get to keep that. Nice document camera. Um, but yeah, so I will move this stuff to my desk once you know I get more organized. And I have a couple ideas for my bulletin boards. I'm going to make some word walls different things like that. All right, so I just wanted to pop in and say I left for the day. I was overwhelmed and there was way too many decisions I was not prepared to make and I was second guessing things. So my brain was not functioning properly. So I left for the day. Um, I'm going to get, oh goodness. I'm going to get lunch. 
um, and try again tomorrow. And I don't understand how I'm going to function as a teacher considering we make a million decisions a day. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I will update you tomorrow and I will update you on our house information as well. So I never got to update you on the house and everything. I just got back from my classroom. My sister and I put up some bulletin borders and stuff like that and brought in a second load. So I got that done. But I never updated you on the house because it was been a long process. So we got accepted or our bid got accepted January, January, June 6th. And we were supposed to close like June, July 7th. And a storm came, tornado came, hail came. Right before we were supposed to close, we had roof damage, siding damage. It took forever to go through insurance. Everything started happening. And we're here about three months later and nothing was going on. It was just really stressful. But yesterday, right after I told you it was like I was going to update you, it was lunchtime. And as I was eating lunch, our realtor called and the check got delivered. And so now they just have to sign it, sign the quotes and everything. And we get to start the work on the house so once the work is done the siding repair the like roof and everything is fixed then we can close on the house and we get the house at closing um because they are no longer um occupying the house right now but we also got to pick everything out so it's kind of like a taupey brown house and we don't aren't a huge fan of that so we are hoping to redo the whole roof and the whole siding and we are going to do a black roof because right now it's like royal brown so we're going to do a black roof and then the siding is like a beige-ish tan color with like a darker brown trim or like a tan trim, but we're going to do a blue siding. It is Wedgwood blue and we are going to do a blue siding around the whole house with board and batten on the front, so like vertical up and down siding on the front as well. And we're super excited. We're hoping everything works out, but we should find out tomorrow um, that when the sellers sign it and agree on it and all that stuff, but I'll keep you updated. So today is Friday and I planned on going up to my classroom, but we had a couple storms the last couple days. They were pretty big, lots of rain, mm. wind and whatnot. So I thought about calling because a lot of places and um, towns around us have been out of power and it's about a 40 minute drive, 35 minute drive. So I didn't want to go up there if we didn't have power. So I ended up calling and their phones were not working. So that would mean they didn't have power. So I ended up not going to my classroom, but I was able to print some stuff and laminate it. So I'm going to cut that out and I will be all ready for the most part to head up there on Monday, my first day 
uh, professional development is Tuesday, but since this is my first year at this school, I have to go to like the new hire meeting stuff on Monday. So Monday, we do have classroom time on Monday after lunch. So I will be doing that, but that will probably be in my second video. Um, so I wasn't able to get there today. So I am, you know, hanging out for the weekend, but I do have some house news. Our roof will be done this weekend. So that means hopefully the siding can get fixed on Monday um, and Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. And hopefully we can close by next Friday or on Friday. And that'll be super exciting because it's Labor Day and we will have a three day weekend so we can move, clean, get settled a little bit. Um, but yeah, so my next video will be on part two of my classroom setup and a little bit of professional development stuff along with some house stuff, but I got a lot going on next week. I'm super excited for it all. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next video.